Alright, hi everyone and welcome back to another video. Now, I have some exciting news going on right now and uh, and the big announcement that I want to make for this video is that we had reached a milestone with the Miss Changer project and that is this system here is officially in beta. And what does that mean? Well, that means the uh, hardware design, the software, and the documentation are mostly finished. And if anyone is interested in building their own misgenger, this is the point where you can actually hop on the project and, and start working on it. So that's great. But the reason why it's still in beta rather than in release is because anyone who is going to be jumping into this project at the state it is right now, well, you are going to be a the beta tester for uh, for all the things that I have put out so far. Um, with that said, for the next stage of this project, I am planning to take two paths in parallel. The first one is further development, i.e. to increase compatibility with uh, our mischanger with more and more hardware to, and to expand its capability. And the second path that I'm uh, that need to be taken in parallel is to polish what is already here, and to do that, the thing that need to be done is to improve the fit and finish between all of these printed parts. I don't know if you can see here, but this thread for here, for example, can, can you can you can see that's a little wiggly, and well, it do fine for a uh, beta release because well the two changing system is still there and still functioning just fine. Nevertheless, if, as we approach a full release, um, it this system will benefit from some a little uh, polishing. I just to add like a, some uh, magnet behind the two head here to hold it in place in a dock position. In addition to that, I need to improve on the documentation. And lastly, the one thing that we all need right now is experimentations. So, for example, we all know that PLA and PETG does not stick to each other and you can use one as a uh, support material for the other. But what about ABS and PETG or ABS with PLA, ASA, P uh, TPU, etc, etc. At this stage, I want to go through and start testing this machine, not as a tool changer, but as a printer, I want to see how this works in a practical scenario with different materials and different printing condition. And yeah, that's going to be what I'm going to be doing for the next few months. Eventually, I want to add a 4-2 head there for TPU. And that last one going to be the highlight for why a 2-changer is actually superior to a single nozzle 2 head the filament switcher because TPU but in particular are very soft and stretchy and um, and I, what I'm planning to do to, to uh, account for that is to build a dedicated print head for 2.8 millimeter uh, filament and yeah a lot of design work and testing will need to be done in the background to figure out what to do with all of these material now that I have my hand on them and how they all gonna play with each other inside the machine itself and I'm very excited. So uh, if you like what I'm doing, hit like and subscribe. And if you want to contribute to the project, I have included the link to the GitHub repository down below in the description. Um, and yeah, uh, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.